this is Chuck from Monocoque Metalworks. I'm here today with our most recent E-Type rescue. This is a 1965 Series 1 E-Type Roadster and it is available for sale for total restoration. This car is fully matching numbers. It is complete. It was originally dark blue with a light blue interior and a blue top. Now this car was originally delivered into Canada and so as a Canadian export it had the amber lenses and silver wire wheels but otherwise this is a standard North American Series 1 E-Type. Now as a 65 Series 1 it has all of the desired features that people look for. It's got the covered headlights, it's got the standard Series 1 small mouth bonnet, the turn signals are above the bumpers, and then you can see it's also got three wipers. Now under the bonnet, this car is one of the first 4.2 liter Series 1s. It's a very early 4.2 liter. This is the original engine from this car, the block and head match. It's got all the original carburation there. You've got the triple SUs that everybody wants on a Series 1. It's got the improved cooling system. This car has an alternator instead of a generator, so it's got an improved charging system. And then it also has the brake system with a booster, so it's the improved braking system. Really, a 4.2 Series 1 is the prime E-Type to have. It's still a Series 1, but it has all of the improvements. The cockpit is also pure Series 1. You can see you've got the toggle switches here. And these are all the original gauges to this car, all the original steering components. This car only had 41,000 original miles. The gearbox is the Series 1 4.2 liter EJ gearbox. It is a full synchro, close ratio gearbox. This is the most desirable gearbox in an E-Type. And that is also original to this car, matching numbers. You can see here on the windshield post, there is the remnants of the last pieces of the light blue interior. Most of the other, rest of the interior has been stripped out. Um, and when you buy the new interior kit, it'll have all of those components. Now, you will need a center console. I have one of those for you over there. There are a few other pieces here. They will come with the car. This has an original uh, triplex clear windshield. It's in excellent condition. I would probably move forward with that. This glass here is also original triplex. It's clear and not the tinted sun dim, probably because it's a Canadian export. The seats in this car are the one part of it that are not standard 1965 seats. I didn't get the car with seats and we didn't have a pair of Series 1 seats, but these are 1968 seats. And these seats are identical to Series 1, except for the hinge and adjusting mechanism. Series 1 has a chrome piece here and allows the seats to fold forward only to put the top up and down. These are actually sought after because they also recline, and so taller drivers find that a little more comfortable. Here's the tail. As you can see, it does not appear to have ever been in any major collisions. The car is very straight. Now, by now, you've probably seen some of the rust issues, and we're going to get to that next. But let's just finish up going around the car. Here's the fuel lid opening here. Here's the boot lid inside the boot. You've got some rust down in there. There's the original tank with all of those components. There's the spare that's also painted wire wheel. You might notice some of this crazy green color that was painted on top of the blue at some point in the past. All of this chrome back here is original to the car and it all needs to be re-chromed, but otherwise all the chrome on this car is straight and good and re-chromable. All right. E-types rust. And this one is no exception and the rust on this car is extensive. This car was delivered in Canada in 1965. It was sold through Jaguar of Eastern Canada in Montreal. 
When we found it last year, it had a license plate on it that expired in 1972. Now, it was very common for these cars to get a lot of rust in the first five to seven years they were on the road. And so I'm not surprised that this car rusted this badly in seven years of Canadian winters. So this is going to be a total body shell restoration. It's going to need extensive panel replacement, but we are the place to help you with that. Otherwise, this is a great car to do, and it's a car worth putting that effort into. So what you're gonna do with this is tear it all apart to restore it, and then restore the body shell. And it's gonna need a lot of panels, but whoever purchases the car is gonna get unlimited 24 by seven personal help from me. You can call anytime, and you're also gonna get 20% off any panels that we can provide for the car, which is quite a bit. So if you just come over here, you can see what we do here. We are not able to sign up to do the metal work on this car. That's one of the reasons why it's available, but we can build you a jig floor and sill assembly. If you like, this is what you want to start with. And we have, we've got a couple other YouTube videos out there that'll show you exactly how we build up this jig floor assembly and how you can do it at home if you want to. Now, eventually you're going to build this and then I would dissect the existing body shell that's there and you're going to build yourself into this. This is a completed body shell for another customer's 1961 Roadster. So just kind of showing you that it can be done. We've done this here. Like I said, we can't do it on this car, but I'd love to be involved in this project, helping you get it done. And again, any panels you need, 20% off. Anything you need to know, call me anytime. So obviously, we love E-types. I love rescuing these cars, and I'd love to be a part of helping you bring this one back to life. So let's recap. It's your basic Series 1 Roadster. You've got the Series 1 bonnet, the covered headlights, you've got triple SU carbs, toggle switches, um, and smooth cam covers. All the Series 1 stuff that everybody looks for. But as a 4.2, you've got the larger engine, you've got the improved braking system, the improved cooling system, you've got a full synchro, close ratio gearbox, and you've got more comfortable seats. This is the E-Type to have. Furthermore, it's got some interesting provenance where it was originally exported into Canada. We talked about the amber lenses and the silver wire wheels. This car was a little bit rarer color combination, dark blue with a light blue interior and a blue top originally. Very importantly, the car is fully numbers matching. It's the complete original engine from Cam covers down to the pan, the carbs, all the accessories on there are all original. It is matching numbers. The gearbox is also original. The whole suspension of this car is original. It originally had 41,000 miles on it, and granted, the body is in rough condition, but I think the inside of the mechanical components are actually going to look pretty good. The one last thing that I forgot to mention is this is a very, very early 4.2 Roadster. It's one of the first 500 4.2 cars produced. It's a 1965 model, but it was actually built in late October of 1964. And because it's so early, it has a lot of 3.8 carryover features. You may have seen it's still got the larger glass washer bottle. It has a crossover pedal box. Still got the 4.2 braking system, but it's set up to bolt onto a 3.8 style firewall. It's got a 3.8 uh, breather tube, lots of other little things. So this is a great car to bring back to life. This is what I call an investment grade E-Type. The 4.2 Series 1 Roadster is what everybody's after. It's what's in all the commercials, all the movies. I have one of these. It is a blast to drive. 
The restoration process is very rewarding. We'd love to help you through it, and I'd be happy to make this car's new home your home. Give us a call because they don't last long. Thanks for watching.